plan it. Yeah. All right. Yep. Okay. All right. Thank you, Viv. Let me re-hit those buttons. All right. So if you guys, um, if you guys come in, like come into class late, make sure you look down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and there should be a little microphone. Poke it, make sure it's got a red line or a circle around it. Um, my mom popped in the other day and just, she, she turns everything on. <laughs> God bless her. So just make sure that you, if you're going to just roll, pop in real quick or something, that um, you make sure your mic is off because we don't always see it. On, the, right, iPad, we ready? on the iPad, it's up in the top. All right, we're going to start with doorknobs and we're going to start moving back and forth. So I've got my hands and I'm just, I'm just flipping, 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 back and forth. So if you had, I'm going to catch up with Ori. And all right, we're going to go together. La, 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 la. <laughs> oh, happy Monday. See, even though it's a Saturday Monday, uh, it's, it's still somehow it's a Monday. All right, take those arms up overhead. And just turn and turn and turn and turn and turn. Listen for clicking. Feel for any crepitus that's crept in. We don't want to overdo. I'm going to step back a little bit out to the side. There we go. Let the arms and keep turning, 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 turning. I hope you guys have good music on at home. There we go. And then take those arms down and turn at the bottom. Just turn and turn. Excellent. And I'm getting my elbows in there so that I'm warming up that shoulder joint as well. Beautiful. Then let those hands still, but then we're just going to reach from side to side. If you want to go ahead and kick across the back, I'm going to step up a little bit so that I don't kick the chair or Ori. It's not kind to kick our friends. Beautiful. Now let the arms cycle up and overhead. Yes. Take them up and over. How was that 1985 transition right there? Yes. Needed my sweatband on for that transition. There we go. I figure for Halloween, we are all going to have to dress up all retro. Retro in our, we got to get the, get the, those, ooh, I don't know where we're going to find leotards. There we go. Now take it out front and across. Beautiful through that full range of motion with the shoulders, elbows, and then turn those feet back into a slide. Excellent. Drag across the floor of the carpet. Get that inner thigh working at the same time. Put, some, put one of those Swiffers on the bottom of your foot and get a really clean spot if you want to. There you go. Now turn this into bicep curls. Beautiful. Now take that opposite foot and put it out front. Yes. This is one for the dancers. This is where they, they start to excel. Those of us that are a little goofy on our feet start to get a little, whoa, I don't know about that, Caroline. <laughs> there we go. Now just step it forward. There we go. Elbows are going to go out and up. Uh-huh. So, ooh, look at those. We're smooth today. Oh, my goodness. Oh, when I did my initial training back in, oh, dear Lord, 1995, 94 or 95, I wasn't this good. <laughs> Oh, I'm so good. Right, all right. So now we're gonna have those hands dive forward and pull, 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 up and back. Get those shoulder blades together. So you can point at your toe and pull back, or you can do the little hoppity skippity, whatever's gonna make you feel good. Ah, there you go. Come on. Woo. We're gonna give it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. March it out. 
There we go. I was starting to get a little uncoordinated at the end of that. I had to, I, we had to put that to an end. <laughs> put that out of its misery. All right, you've got one minute of choice. Walk in place, run in place, jumping jacks, grasshoppers, go get a glass of water. <laughs> Whatever it is that you wanna do, I'm going to do reactivity stuff with my feet. I'm going to do 30 seconds on the right foot, then 30 seconds on the left. On your mark, get set, go. So I'm going to touch forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. <sighs> there we go. So it's a little half run. Good job, Ori. Look at her go. Ba -da! <sighs> we need to have pierogi day. Oh, maybe when it cools off, we'll have a pierogi day in the driveway. And I'm gonna switch legs. We could, we could, we could just totally get a pierogi stand. We could have a pierogi stand. Oh, and everybody will drive by and we'll we'll drop a pierogi in your in your window in your car. <sighs> she makes the best pierogies, man. Whew. We decided it's our Christmas tradition. Yes. All right, here you go. Come on, come on, come on. You're almost there. Three, two, one. March it out. Good job. High five there, mama. So, you know, last Christmas we made pierogies and they have that little half moon shape. And I was like, well, we haven't made Christmas cookies yet. What happens if we get out the cookie cutters and we make pierogies in the shape of little little gingerbread men and Christmas trees and stuff? She was like, oh, that's not traditional. She goes, oh, that's great. <laughs> so we had little pierogi Christmas trees. All right. We're going to get a little bit into a set of abs. Just kind of a standard favorite. Elbows up, high knees pulled down and in. So like if you had a, a window shade, and you need to pull it down. There you go. Just to spy on the, on the squirrels a little bit. Pull it down nice and slow so you can see which one's stealing your bird seed. God, all of them, right, right. The answer is all of them. <laughs> and, the and the fattest one, says Zoe. We have got one. Oh my goodness. Fluffy McFluffykins, the fluffy, fluffy squirrel from eating all our stuff. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Get in there. Warming up hip flexors. Getting those abs involved. Woo. Tuck it in. Burn it. Burn it up. Yes. Right, so I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning for you. Name that group. Three, two, one. Blue eyes are called. Toes go back. Toes go back. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. Whew. Right? Golden earring. Blue oyster cult. Golden earring. Blue oyster cult. <gasps> Who is it? I'm going to have to look it up. Is it golden earring? No. Blue oyster cult. Yes, it is, and I don't remember who did it. <laughs> it might be the blue oyster cult. All right, so we got the toes going out back, stepping, stepping, stepping. Take those palms, reach them up, bring them out forward. Now this is going to bring just a micron of weight into that low back. We just lift and hold. If it's too much of a squeeze for that lumbar spine, bring them down a little. If that's still too much of a squeeze, bring them down more, back to the hips, or stand it straight up. Yes, keep it up, keep it up, come on. Whew. Did I mention we were doing three solid minutes of movements? I don't believe I did. There you go. <laughs> keep digging in there. It's good for the soul. It might be three minutes. It might be three and a half minutes. It's just, we're just burning. <sighs> That's it, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Keep going. 
one day somebody's going to go back with a timer on all of my stuff and be like, you lied. Three, two, one, march it out. Good job. Pat yourselves in the back. We done good. All right. Grab up a sip of water and then grab up a small set of hand weights and maybe put something for the waistline within easy reach. So Ori and I happen to live in a space that has kettlebells in it because my husband's a kettlebell instructor. So kettlebells for the waistline are easy, you know, because it's got a handle. I can just hold it there. So when we go to do our waistline stuff, make sure it's something that's not going to strain the wrist or bug the carpal tunnel. Um, pick up something as heavy as you want to pick up, as long as you're protecting the lumbar. All right. So we're going to do this in series. We're going to pick up our hand weights. Take a big deep breath. Ah, settle into the body. We're going to step nice and wide. I'm going to take the right hand. I'm going to send it up. Turn my right toes out. And then this back hand is simply going to high five the upper hand. Simple, right? Yay. <laughs> All right. So send it up. One, a two, a three, a four, a five. Deepest bend you want in that leg. Four, three, two, and one. Now pause here. Send this arm up and out to the side. We've still got that slight military press, or if you need to come down into a moose antler, come down into a moose antler. Now we're going to press through and pull back. So there's a little bit of a torso twist. And then that upper arm, depending on what you picked up, is gonna start talking. Ah, there was an old commercial. Something about, let's talk about ducks. I don't remember that commercial. But it became a saying in our family. Three, two, one. Now hold here, cycle that outside arm down, bring it into the shoulders, bring it in and stretch it out. One, two, I guess I shouldn't beat the microphone to death. Three, it's already on its last legs. Four, five, mm -hmm. six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Oh yeah! Bring it in, put it down. Woo! All right, heels slightly in, knuckles down and in, toes either out at an angle or straight forward. Out at an angle is going to be a little softer on the knees. Straight forward, you're going to get a little more into the head around the knee here. Pull those elbows straight up. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now bounce it with a double pulse. One, two. There we go. One, two. Pulse, pulse. Three, four, five. Nice modifications. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Roll it up. Give each one of those shoulders a couple of rolls. Ah, maybe sushi rolls. Maybe spring rolls. Maybe I didn't eat enough for breakfast. <laughs> All right. Toes out. Bend in. Now, so make sure that knee doesn't drive over. I suddenly was like, woo, I want to drive over that knee for, or that toe for some reason. Body up over the pelvis, left arm, nice and strong up there. We've got the high five, take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now slide it up. 
and then press it through. One, two, three, warming up the waistline. Four, five, five, four, three, two, one, open her up, drop it down into the shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, two, and one. Fold it in, bring it down, straighten out, heels in at a little bit of an angle. This time we're coming in, we're gonna touch together and then just pull straight back. So we had the elbows out before, now we're just gonna pull straight back and in. We want a lot of attention here in the, where the lumbar and the thoracic meet, strengthening up that mobile joint space. All right, press forward, tuck those weights together, and then pull. Bend in the knees if you want to. Three, four. If you had a stretchy band, these are great. Tie the stretchy band to a banister. Man, three, two, one. Now double pull. One, two, one, two. Number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You guys look great. Last one, pull, pull, down, lift it up, tap it out. Woo. So just the act of getting down into those legs a little bit pitches that upper body forward. So then we've got this beautiful hold that's going on around the, the back of that sacrum, the upper hip, that lower spine, those ribs down there at the bottom, that's that osteo work. That's what I'm talking about. Ta -cha. Check the block. Okie dokie. All right, into waistline. So you can double your weights up in one hand. You can grab a heavier weight. You can, I don't know, grab some old luggage. <laughs> Ladies, if you've got the kitchen sink purse, Grab the kitchen sink purse. <laughs> All right. I'm going to switch out for something for my waistline. If you can't see it because it blends in with the wall, I've got a kettlebell going on. You know, but it has a handle. See? Oh. And, and part of it is don't run out and go buy anything like this. We happen to own it. So therefore, I feel compelled to use it. <laughs> you know, it's getting your money's worth out of the equipment you own. All right, the biggest deal is, as soon as you load that shoulder, it wants to sag forward. So put it in the socket without popping that back in. We wanna hold up and in and have that abdominal wall hold us nice and tight. So we've got right hand, left fingers up behind the ear. I'm gonna walk my legs in just a little closer and then drop the tailbone some, just enough to give you a micro bend in the knee. and then to the knee and up. Beautiful. I know that was a lot of explanation for something that seems so simple. Ah, but heavier weight can destabilize things. You don't want to destabilize things. Four, three, two, and one. Double pulse. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Woo! See, it doesn't look like much, but you really start to feel it at that upper hip attachment. All right, same thing. Shoulder slides up and in. Abdominal wall comes in to brace that low spine. Fingertips up and behind, tailbone drops a little so those knees bend. Down to the knee joint, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Pulse it out, doubles. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, side plank time. That's back into this waistline region. I'm gonna slide my chair over just a little. If you wanna do these on the floor, beautiful, side plank. We're gonna come down, we're gonna touch the bottom hand and come back up. You can put the knee down. You can do the same thing, okay? You're still gonna hold up here. You're still gonna be nice and strong in the back and you're still not gonna sag into the shoulder. Those are up to you. You can do them on the forearm and then come and touch with the elbow. Those are always fun. Or you can join us on the wall. I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna place it on the wall. I'm gonna step my feet away ever so slightly. You can go. And then that way, I'm in an angle, woo! You can also put the forearm down if the shoulder is painful. And then we're gonna take that outside arm, level with the floor, we're gonna turn it in, we're gonna touch that right hand, and we're gonna push it back out. Here we go, one and open, two, open, three, open, four. So if you're on a countertop, you know, just make sure you're nice and secure. If you're leaning into a wall, make sure that the door is probably locked and is not an out swinging door. Two more, last one, yes, bring it in, other side. So we're just leaning in and then it's touch it and open. Like you have a big zipper in front of you. And maybe it's like a sleeping bag zipper. Anybody else ever get stuck in a sleeping bag? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have to admit that I got stuck, panicked. Oh, right arm parallel to the floor. Take it in, touch it down. One, two, three, four, Five, five, four, three, two, last one. Beautiful, stretch it out, bring it in. Nicely done. All right, grab some water. Dun, 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 dun. We've got more sets of those things to do. Ah, instead of the single arm, pulls we're going to do reach throughs to the hips and back through if having weights in the hand for that are going to throw you completely off back of the chair touch back of the chair easy breezy so we're going to get into that core region if you have weights in the hands you're going to pull them straight through so that your fingertips slide right up on top of those hips as long as the shoulders are agreeable all right Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take a five. So, because this is somewhat of, you know, got some pretty strong muscles going on up there, I'm gonna step up a little. Why not? Ori and I are gonna turn. We're gonna put our right feet back, shoulders up and back. Big breath. We're gonna take those hands, press them up at an angle, pull through to the hips and press back, here we go, one, two, and attempt not to fall over on camera. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. Here's five, six, modify, 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 seven, eight, nine, last one. Beautiful arms fold down in. While we're here, tip it forward, Weights lean, back heel lift. One, 
two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Little bit of a challenge. Shift forward and either hold here, modify in any other way, or drop it down and in. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put it back down. Whew. Saved. <laughs> <sighs> okay. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing I'm not a perfectionist. <laughs> There'd be so many things I wouldn't be able to teach. I would, I'd be able to teach like five things. Ah, ready? Those knuckles, they punch up and out. Bring that knee through. Right there. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm all over the place. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, pull those weights down, drop them down on either side of the thigh. Heel lift, one, two, it's like a stretch and a lift. Three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. So challenge on this side, lift and hold, bring it forward. Boy, you can tell this is my balance leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice! Ah, ready for another set of wall planks or floor planks. Walk the plank. That's what we're going to do. All right. Right hand in. Lean it in. If you're in a countertop and it's a little low, that's fine. You can always put the forearm on it and walk away from it. Just make sure that you've got good attention in this waistline. Nice. This time, if you want the challenge, lift that outer leg. Excellent. Arm up parallel to the floor, punch it in. One, two, three, if you're not, Four, feeling challenged like today. Five, four, three, two, last one. So if you're not feeling challenged like today, push up and away. Do it in your way. You don't have to do all this. You can just go, no, I'm going to do bicep curls right now. Sweet. You know your body's limits. Everybody's got limits. Lean in. All right. Shoulders up and back. Belly button in. Outer leg lifts. Arm parallel. Punch it in. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three. Ooh, yeah. Two. And one. Pew! Sweet. Put that down. Pick up what you're going to work with your waistline with. Ah. I just thought that was a bear walking by. Turns out it was a man walking a very large, fuzzy brown dog. <laughs> My brain went, bear! <laughs> In Crownsville, Maryland because that's where we have bears. <laughs> All right, let's switch to left hand first, because most of us are, are dominant on one side or the other. So we're just going to switch it up, shoulders up and back, feet planted back in. This time though, when the fingertips go up, we're going to slide down the front of the leg and then slide down the back of the leg. This is not a huge slide to a crunch. This is a little bitty thing. It's going to pull on the outer edges. All right? Down the front side of the leg. 
one to the kneecap, and then back, one. And then two, and two. Three, three, four, four, five. Yes, nice and smooth. Six, seven, eight, nine, last 10 and 10. So 10, bless you, and 10, bless you. Beautiful, switch. How do we say that in Polish? Nazdrowie. Nazdrowie, I like that. I knew that, how did I not know that? Yeah. I don't, you've taught me that before. Ah, Nazdrowie. We should just say that all the time, whether people sneeze or not. It's the kind thing to do. And it means cheers, sweet. I like it. That's how I know it. Okay. <laughs> it means cheers. <laughs> Kneecap to the back of the knee. There we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. There you go. Getting in a little rhythm there. Six. Six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and Nastrovia! Cheers! We finished! Yes! Oppa! <laughs> My husband's Greek. Okay. <laughs> well, well, salut. We'll hit them all. <laughs> oh, what was it? Oh, the one. Chin chin? Chin chin. What's that? It's going to be either Italian or French. Italian. Oh, okay. And then, oh, I used to know it in Japanese from some of the exchange students I went to university with. I'll think about it. All right. So we're in between. Drop to the knees and then pull up and in, squeeze. Squeeze the bunses. One, two, for those of you, three that know how to do a kettlebell swing, four, for the next 10, five, you can do kettlebell swing. If you have a kettlebell, or one end of a dumbbell. Three, two, one. So if you've got something to swing, swing it, and if not, Pull. There you go. Three, four, five, six, seven, three, two, and one. Lock those buns in. Let them smile and say, Nazdrovia. Chin chin, <laughs> and then bring it in. <laughs> All right, put that down. Grab water. Whew. I don't know if it's as hot in your house as it is in this little joint in here, but it's hot. Oh, what? Because <sighs> I lived in Korea. What did we used to say in Korea? Oh, is it kampai? Is kampai. Japanese? Yes. Kampai is Japanese. Because they used to say that in Korea too. Um, Man, it's been a long time, right? I just remember my boss's four-year-old son going around the table with a bottle of Sprite, filling up everybody's shot glasses and everybody saying it to him and slamming one back. And I was like, wait, okay, I'm not fighting the culture. All right, <laughs> grab up a set of weights. <laughs> I had so much fun over there. I loved it. Calf work, toes out, shoulders up and back, belly button draws in, and just lift. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Now lift and hold, just a little bit of a releve here. We'll feel yourself wobble around and just give those calves time to grab those bones. And then roll it down. Beautiful. Heels out. Collarbones high. Lift them up. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift and hold. We're going to be shimmy shaky. Woo! Forward and back. Oh, going down. Three, two, one. Heels down. Toes out. And then lift again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift and hold. Ooh, ooh, three, two, one, put them down. Take that right foot, put it out back. Stretch that heel into the floor. Fingertips forward, bicep curls while we're at it. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn those knuckles forward, lean it in, pull those elbows out and up. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold there, thumbs forward, pull those elbows straight back. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Last one. We're doing all the stuff that we've already done. Heel lift. One, two, three, four, five, five, a four, three, two, and one. Gorgeous. Press that heel, big breath. <sighs> that little Looney Tunes coming out of Ori over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's good. It's good. Left heel stretches in, fingertips forward. Roll those up. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right. Roll it up and in. We're going to pull those elbows up and out. One, two, three, four, five. This gets a little rough on the low back. Make sure you make the modification. Three, two, and one. Jet pack hands, elbows straight back. One, two, get in between those shoulder blades. Three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. The last bit, lift that heel. One, two, three, four, five. And it's just a nice hold for that front thigh. It's great. A two and a one. Nazdravia. See, it's good stuff. <laughs> All right, tap those feet out. Let those muscles have a little bit of a, a little bit of a break. <sighs> Tell you. I used to know how to say certain things in all kinds of languages. And again, you know, it's the older you get and you don't use it anymore. Ah, in Korean, I love you is sarangheyo. I always thought that was just so, oh, so romantic sounding.
in Chinese, it was Waini. <sighs> Waini, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Now start kicking forward into those ankles for that ankle strength. And then we're going to pause and we're going to balance here in a moment. Ori's over here. She's got her little. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> She's got her show tunes going on. All right. Do a little Hamilton for everybody that loves Hamilton. All right. Plant that left foot. Kick that right leg out. And then bring it into the shin and out and in and out. Three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, and 10. Boom, other leg. Kick it out, bring it in. Touch and release. Two, release. Three, release. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, kick it, plant it, well done. All right, you're gonna pull up some chair space or some floor space. We're going back into those upper backs. Um, maybe not floor space on this. I don't know that you're gonna wanna sit down. You may have to go into that Utkatasana squat if you don't wanna go into a chair because we're gonna be back up in here and we don't want a whole ton of movement because then we can start impinging the back. If you're in a chair, it's no different than grabbing a weight bench at the gym. This is not a weakness. <laughs> it's just something to sit on. <laughs> so when you do concentration work, like if you go to the gym and you sit down on a bench, it's not because somebody's over there being weak. They're pulling work out of other part of the body to make sure they're getting the motion and the movement that they want to really get into that designated muscle area. I mean, some people need to sit down anyways. Perfect. And to get into those backs without all the wobbling and everything else, we're just gonna simply concentrate it. All right, so lean it slightly forward. I've got a set of fives here. You know what? I think I'm gonna step up to to, to, to eights for this one. And she goes out of the screen and she comes back in the screen. Look at Ori, she's pretty. Okay. <laughs> Don't pay any attention to me. Ah, there's nothing to see here. All right, bring it out by the, on either side of the calves. And then you're gonna just bring those elbows up and back. Just a concentration. One, squeeze. Two, squeeze. Three, yes. Four five, six, seven, eight, nine, beautiful, 10. Yes, fingertips forward. Pull those elbows straight back. Squeeze those shoulder blades. One, two, three, four, five, Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, if you, are, if you are in a squat position on the floor, stand it straight up. We're gonna go into a military press overhead. Roll it into the shoulders, open it up, and press up. One, two, three, nice light grip. Four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Fold it in like a book, put it down. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some abdominal work to it because we can. And because, 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 because. Who doesn't need a little waistline work? <laughs> because of the wonderful thing she does. <laughs> he does. I always changed it to she. I always thought they were singing about Dorothy when I was little. I didn't realize they were singing about the great Oz. 
<sighs> Anyways, <laughs> oh, the things that stick. Back into that military press, lift up that left leg, straighten it out if you want to, and then 10 presses. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Fold it in, then put it down. <sighs> Makes the pulse go up some. Kind of nice. One more breath. <sighs> and also at the gym, when you see people just sitting on the bench, they're not just flaking out. They're giving muscle recovery time. I tend not to, when I work out on my own, I tend not to do that enough for myself. I try to speed through sometimes. And yeah, I get really sore the next day. Okay, back up, military press, right knee up or kick that leg out, press them up. One, two, three, four, five, five, breathe, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, fold it in, put that leg down. I was like, she's looking awfully serious. I'm looking awfully serious. Oh, we seriously look like we're gonna die. Breathe. <sighs> oh, all right, either both weights in one hand, which is gonna give me 16 pounds in one hand, so I have to be careful. So both weights in one hand, or put one weight down, or just put the other in your lap. Left hand on the thigh. I'm gonna drop this down. I'm gonna support myself, collarbones parallel to the floor. Elbow pulls up and out. One, two, three, unclench the teeth. Four, five, I wasn't talking to you, Ori, but were you doing it? Five. <laughs> Four, oh, three. This is where I start trying to clench my teeth. Two, and then I have to force myself. And one, ah, Whew. switch sides. I have to switch the way they're crossed. Right hand, knuckles down, collarbones, nice and level. So because of my scoliotic curve, I really want to turn in toward this knee. If you've got issues, make sure you watch yourself in your camera. All right, up and out we go. One, two, three, four, big smile, five, yes, five, four, three, two. Oh, my lips starting to curl. One, oh, pick it up and in. When, when, when my face starts to stray. <laughs> I know we're getting close to the end. All right. We've got the elbow pull back, single hand. Big breath. <sighs> nice. All right. Support yourself. Parallel collarbones. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, strong upper backs. I mean, just like, yes. Lock it in there. Uh huh. Right hand. Last set. Big smile, almost done. Here we go. One. Two, I'm gonna have a here we go jar. Three, four, five. Every time I say it, I gotta put a dollar in it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Yes. All right. Last things last. I used to say that. First things first. 
last things last. One more set of waistline. So if you're standing up, you're gonna have a weight in either hand, drop them down, and we're just gonna tick tock back and forth. It's gonna look like this. Make sure you have a little micro pause in the center so that you're not rolling from cheek to cheek. You wanna keep those sits bones planted on the chair, right to left. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Notice your foot pressure and see if you've got equal foot pressure. Five, four, four, three, and a three, two, a two, a one, yes! Yes, and still left over from my childhood in my head because I used to love it, soul train. <laughs> when I go woo in my head, I'm actually going soul train. <laughs> God, I love that show. Oh, we, I'm not from a family of dancers. And to just watch people love movement and to get to sit on a Saturday or Sunday morning or whatever it was and just watch people move. I just loved it. Oh, what can I say? Love me some soul train. All right, right ankle on top. Oh yes, that Sunday morning was dedicated to Kung Fu theater. Just saying. Lift the collarbones, lean in toward the ankle. Oh yes. All right, folks are popping out, folks are popping in. If you happen to be coming in and your mic is not muted, make sure you mute your mic. Roll that body up straight down and in all of the standards, beautiful. Ah, for you yogis cycling in, we will be with you momentarily. Oh, yes. Roll that body up, gather up that shin, pull that up into the armpit. Little wind relieving pose with a little bit of an ankle swirl. Yes, very swirly, like the artwork behind us, other direction. Ah, excellent. <laughs> and put it down. Other leg comes up and in lift the heart space, heart to ankle. Ah, yes. Big breath. Ah, roll it up, lean it in. There we go. Breathe into that space in that hip. Roll it up, pick that shin up, lift into that armpit space, give those ankles some rolls. Ooh, pop, pop, other way. Almost done, almost done. Put it down, right arm across the chest. Give that shoulder blade region, give it a little, little pulse here. Just a little 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one for the extra back there. Other arm and pulse it. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes! Nastrovia! All right, I want you to think about three guilty pleasures from childhood. Kung Fu Theater, Soul Train, and Wonder Woman. What were yours? Uh, was TikTok show. TikTok show? Yes. Yeah. Um, ice creams. Ice creams. And Movies. Oh, we didn't get to go see many movies. She's a lucky girl. All right. I love you if you're stepping out. We love Ori too. 
And if you're coming in for yoga, throw a mat out, grab something to sit on. We love you, loving you. Oh, I know, I love that song.